Hello and welcome back to the farm. We are in August now and the oil seed radish is ready to be direct drilled into. So that is what we will be doing today. Oh, I didn't didn't put my tractor in. Oh well, we do have some rain in the forecast, however. Should be arriving at around 2 to 3 p.m., which hopefully that won't be a problem. Well, it shouldn't be anyway. We also got this brand new shed in the last episode, and I will admit I have not even uploaded the last episode yet. So if you guys have left any comments about whether or not we should get animals or something like that, well, I haven't seen them yet, but I will do as soon as I can. Uh, it does look like we need a little bit more seed, but we might be good to go. Also, I did see this contract right here. 7,200 for some cultivating. If we set a worker to it, we might earn, even even if we just earn, okay, we do need to lease the equipment, so that is deducting 1,000. So we might earn like, I don't know, 5,000, 4,000 from this, if we set a worker to it. So I think I might do that just to get some extra cash. We are down to $12,000, which is not bad, considering where we are, but yeah, we could use it. Um, I do believe that I need Hold on, actually, I'm going to detach that because I do think I need crop tires, otherwise I will destroy the oil seed radish and then it will not be... Uh, well, it's not cultivating, but then it won't have the effect that we want. So I'm going to park it right here and customize. It does really need a repair as well. Uh, wheel setup. I wonder if it will be faster to go this way. Probably this. Uh, there we go. Narrow tires. Customize. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to repair it as well because yeah we uh, we need it to be in tip-top condition which brings us down to 9720 we also do need in this episode hopefully to well fix up this we need to do a little bit of organizing on the farm because we do lack a bunch of space so we gotta utilize this yet that we just bought in the last episode but now with our brand new direct drill attached I will go ahead and set this off to a worker, and then I will accept that cultivating card tracker that I can take over. I will, however, probably need to do the headland down at the end here. Also, I will just verify that this is working. So if we end it there, head into here. Uh, so if we remove this, yep. It does get the fertilization that it's supposed to, and we are putting in canola. Perfect. It is working as intended. So I can set that off for a worker, and we're good. Hopefully the seeding is not going to be an issue. Uh, contracts. Contracts. Yep. Borrow items. Field 38. Shouldn't be an issue. We're rocking the John Deere 7230R. And a pretty big cultivator. And I guess we should take a look at what we got new in the shop, huh? Or I should say new machinery. And we don't really have anything. We have some um, some mowers, which is cool. But yeah, not really in our price range. We got a sprayer, which we definitely don't need. And a bale loader, but we already have that trailer. So yeah, nothing really. Um, I think the next big thing is going to be a medium tractor. Because we really do need that extra horsepower. Something like the Valtra would be kind of cool, but yeah. Having something that is upgradable as well would be kind of cool. The JCB is nice, but yeah. We don't really have the money to afford any of those. And I haven't found any collectibles, and even if I did, the collectibles are not worth that much money. So yeah, that's that too. There's also a slight issue that we have because we upgraded our harvester header. Doing so means that the field no longer completely gets covered with the chopped straw. Um, so there is the issue of our combine. We could potentially upgrade it. I don't really want to. But I could consider doing bales now. But that means we would lose one stage of fertilization, which... Oh, it's not here. Which wouldn't be that great. Because the more yield we have, the more money we're going to make. This is my turn. But yeah, we do have that to consider as well. Uh, I guess uh, having a bale in the sale would be kind of nice. That would make that 
<laughs> decision making a little bit easier. Now here we are, I will start expanding this or unfolding it and we will set a worker to do this because then we can concentrate on using our brand new drill. Uh, this should be good. Uh, hold on. There we go. Boom. Over to our tractor. And let's raise it up. Nice. Okay, so it did it did half. That's actually not too bad. It did miss a spot here though. I mean I can guarantee you that it's going to be better at turning this thing around than me. <laughs> but I'll get this field done and uh, yeah, we are definitely going to have to get some more seeds for this thing. That is for sure, but we will roll with what we got so far. And then I'll just head out over to the shop. So I will see you in just a minute. Well, when this field is done and we have refilled the cedar here. So I'll see you in a moment. Alright, that was the first field completed. The contract is a little bit over 10% done. I think we can see it here. Yep, 13%. And canola has now been put in. That's awesome. So now we're missing field 48 and 47. Uh, and yeah, this is how far the work has gotten. It is a big field, but yeah, it is going to be a little bit of money in the background, so that's cool and all. Uh, but yeah, I did fill up. 2,000 liters of seed on this thing, so we will not be needing to... Yeah, we won't need to top this up for quite a while. There are two things that I want to check out, though. Uh, bees will improve the yield by a little bit, but I also want to check out what is the cheapest baler that we could possibly afford. So this is a very tiny one. It produces very tiny bales. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Uh, unless, yeah, it's these tiny shallow ones, not really interested. The next stop in line is this one, and if we were to lease that, it would be 2448 So we would need to make that amount of money in the bales that we sell and more if we were to convert the straw into bales. So whether or not that is going to be something that we can do or not, well, that is going to be interesting. What is this? A header. Even bigger <laughs> than the one we already have. Well, that's not really going to be for us. Alright, well. I guess I just need to keep going here until all this is completed. But yeah, oh yeah, the bees. Um, bees, construction, animals, bees. We do have some um, options here, but they are a little bit expensive. Expensive, but they might be worth it. It will be placed at centralized location. Uh, if placed behind near fields, certain crops will also have a slightly increased yield. What we could do is maybe place some bees right, uh, maybe here, and that might affect these two fields. I would hope, or maybe here. Again, they are a bit expensive, elongated, so this is a longer one. There's a tower, and this is a tiny one. <laughs> uh, and we would, of course, get the honey for it. Um, I don't know how big the radius of the beehives are, though. Okay, so apparently, depending on what beehives you get, they have different ranges. It unfortunately it doesn't say here in this shop. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I place one here, how much of this it would actually take in, or if it would only affect like a corner 
So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. As body is a little bit tight for us at the moment. But uh, definitely something that I will want to do in the future. For now though, we'll just put in canola and see how it goes whenever we need to harvest it. Alright, so... Oh, there goes the train in the background. Yeah, I'll keep doing this and... Uh, yeah, I don't know when I'll be back. I guess when either the job is done or... I do want to take over for the worker if we do finish this job. But yeah, we do need to clean up the yard as well. So I guess I'll be back when this or the other field is done. I guess we'll see. And there we go, all the fields have been done, I think anyway, let's have a quick look, yep, all the fields now have canola seeded in them, and field 38 is almost halfway there, so we can go ahead and help that, but first, oh yeah, 50% complete now, but first, this tractor really, really needs some fuel, but first, I need to pack up, if I can, my trailer might be in the way here a bit, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Oh, nope, that's not gonna work. This, however, seems to be going pretty okay. Yep. Put that there. And just before we move anything else, I will just head, out over, head up over here to the... T <laughs> to the is it called a tank station or a fuel station? Hmm. I'm actually not quite sure. The refueling... ...place. Diesel refuel... I don't know. Regardless. Turn off the engine. Refill. It shouldn't cost too much, hopefully. Yeah, I noticed halfway through the other fields that it started blinking. That's... Usually an indicator that you need fuel. Alright, $300, not too bad, actually less. Alright, let's go ahead and get the other equipment inside under some cover. And then... Uh, can't see. And then we will go ahead and take over for the worker over in that field. I think I'm leaving the combine there. I think I want the trailer and those and that thing in. I could honestly sell my trailer. I could only sell, honestly sell it because that one can be converted into a trailer just like it. Hmm. Hold on, let me try something here. If I back this up and that's the wrong thing. I go ahead and customize flat frame. Oh, that's just. That's literally just how it... That, that is. 
Okay, never mind. That is fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> that is not even what our trailer costed. Okay. You know what? That is most definitely not worth it. It stays as it is. Now, will I be able to magically get this in the fast slot? If I keep going at the speed, I might actually be able to, you know? Yeah, you know what? I'm not too... Eh, that could be a bit cleaner. But otherwise, it is in cover, and that's not too bad. Yep, I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm happy with that. Next up is this trailer, which definitely did not cost 50000 <laughs> Plus, we own the extension to this thing, so yeah, not getting rid of this trailer anytime soon. Now, where to put this? We do use this pretty often, but I guess we can put it next to the other trailer. And there comes the rain. Nice. I do love the rain sounds in this game. Alright, I am in a pretty decent position to be able to potentially get this thing in. I did say potentially. <laughs> Trial and error here. Let me know down below in the comments how much of a pain is it watching me do this. <laughs> and... You know what? That's actually... That's actually in. Now it will no longer collect water. <laughs> there we go. That is undercover now. Alright, time for the other stuff. Contract is now 60% completed. The weeder is next. I don't want to keep this strictly to the combine and the tractor. The header for the combine, unfortunately, can't really fit anywhere. So that will just have to stay as is. But the weeder should be one of the easier things to fit. I guess that can get a spot right over here. As it is one of the equipment that we use quite often. There we go. Next up is the roller, which I think will pop in right next to the trailer. Not too bad, not too bad. Yep, that works. Boom. Alright, what am I missing? I think I'm missing the water tanker, which I guess should go undercover. I do have the weight as well, and yeah, the lime stuff really should be like inside here. Um, hmm. Yeah, this stuff definitely needs to go undercover, the weight as well. We should have a lime spreader, but we don't need it all the time, so it doesn't really make sense for us to buy one, use money on one, because we don't use it that often, honestly, at all. Alright, gonna move this as well, because this place is not ideal for it. Under the new shed will be better. Actually, before I put this away, I will need to move those things right there. I think I'm going to put this kind of stuff in the barn. That way I can kind of just put it somewhere on the side and I can take the equipment through and just kind of drive through and fill it. <laughs> At least that's going to be my plan behind this. If I can take this off. There we go, I think. Yep. I think that will do. And then this can go right here next to the roller. I am, however, going to detach that, the pallet fork, and equip the bucket, and then <laughs> place the front loader. And... Boom. Perfect. Plenty of room. Now I just need the water tanker, and as I'm doing that, I will just take a look 
at how the greenhouses are doing because we have not been looking at them for a little while now. Eh. Let's see their water levels. Yeah, the water's at 4,000. That's not bad. Yep, pretty good. And I don't know how much lettuce we have waiting. We obviously have clothes. One, two, three, four pallets here. And another pallet waiting as well. And another one close to being ready as well. Same over here. All right, nice. All right. Let's get this final equipment stored. The right month for selling lettuce, I believe, is January. So it is going to be a little bit of time before we can sell it. At least I think think it's January if I'm not too mistaken I feel like I keep looking at this and I keep forgetting yep January we're currently in August so price is going to be a little bit higher 1900 though is the best price we can get so we could get a decent price now but we could get maybe a hundred to two hundred uh, dollars more than we would if we sold it now so yeah I'm gonna wait gonna be more worth it gonna do this one in first person view not too bad yep detach that go forward a bit and turn off the engine all right let's head on over to this fella yep it is almost done so I will take over and we will get this done extremely quickly. Alright, I'll see you when the contract is complete. All right, contract completed. Just this path right here, and we will be done. Well, it finished a while ago, but I do like to finish things up. All right, pretty good stuff. Let's go ahead and finish the contract. Collect 6,110. Nice. So we earned a few thousand from that. Not too bad at all. And that was shallow cultivating as well so eh, I'm stuck now I think that is going to be it for today's episode I don't know what we're going to do in the next month there might be well now that I think about it there is actually rolling which we might want to do so we might meet up back here in this day in the next episode do some rolling and then there's probably going to be some weeding done in the next month but yeah we'll take a look at that when we when we uh, get to it, I just want to finally check the used machinery sale again. A trailer. Hmm. Well, we don't really, again, need any of this stuff. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. I'm going to take some shelter, get some lunch, and then it's back out rolling the fields. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.